Hi. In this video, we're going to walk through the steps for replacing the thermostat in a 2006 Toyota Sienna with the 3.3 liter V6 engine. You may have seen error codes P128 or P126. They could all be indications of a bad thermostat. As usual, I'll include part numbers and links to the proper replacement parts in the description of this video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing to do is pop the hood and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding on the plastic air intake. Once loose, set it aside. Next, remove the second section of tubing. Wiggle it loose from its two connection points. Next, use a 10mm socket to remove the cover from the air filter box. There's a bolt on the front right and the rear right. Now, Press the plastic clip and unplug the mass airflow sensor connector. Next, use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the hose clamp going into the air intake. Pull the top of the housing off of the hose. Then, disconnect the vacuum tubes and remove it. Take out the air filter. Next, use a 10mm socket to remove the bolts holding the air filter housing in place. Disconnect the connector near the front of the housing by pressing the tab and pulling it off. Use a screwdriver to pull out the plastic tab holding the connector to the rear of the housing. Lift up the housing and disconnect the tube from the bottom. Then, snake it out of the engine bay. At this point, it's not a bad idea to plug up the intake so that nothing inadvertently flies in there. Use a 12mm socket to remove the coolant pipe bracket. Next, locate the other side of the plastic coolant inlet pipe, sometimes called the thermostat outer housing. There are three 10mm nuts holding this on. Use a socket and an extension to remove them. Take care when removing the nuts as they are easily lost. Using a telescoping magnet can help to capture the nut before pulling the socket away. On mine, the whole stud came out. A common failure point is that these crack and leak, so inspect it carefully for cracks and consider replacing it if necessary. I'll put the part number and link in the video description. Use a pliers to press the tabs and unplug the electrical connector. Then gently pull off the plastic coolant pipe. Next, use a pliers to pull out the old thermostat. So here's the old and new thermostats side by side. Note that you should probably install a new rubber gasket when you install the new thermostat. We're now ready to install the new thermostat. Note that the jiggle valve should be on the top. It acts as a bleeder valve for any air in the system. Next, wiggle the coolant pipe back into place over the thermostat. Then reinstall the three 10 millimeter nuts. Putting a little anti-seize into the nut helped make it sticky so it didn't drop out while installing it. Torque the three nuts to 14 foot-pounds or 168 inch-pounds. Be careful, these are pretty soft, so don't overdo it. Next, reinstall the 12 millimeter into the support bracket. Put the engine air filter compartment back into place, remembering to connect the hose on the bottom. Then wiggle it into place. Reinstall the three 10 millimeter bolts holding the housing down. Then put the air filter back in and reinstall the top of the housing, then tighten hose clamp. Next, tighten up the two 10mm bolts. Reinstall the vacuum lines on the air filter housing.
Plug in the mass airflow sensor connector and plug in the connector on the front. Reinstall the air intake hose, carefully fitting the openings into their slots. Put in and tighten the 10mm bolt. Then install the front air intake scoop. And install its two 10mm bolts. Once you're finished, be sure to top off the radiator with coolant to replace that which was lost. And that should cover it. I hope this fix goes well. I'm rooting for you. If this video was helpful, will you please give a thumbs up and subscribe? It helps me a lot and I hope you like the channel. Until the next time something breaks, thanks for watching.